express steam locomotives need a lot of boiler pressure in order to hit express speeds, so increasing the boiler pressure should help improve an engine's top speed, right? Well, the LMS tried it with fury and it didn't really work out so well. So what happened when the LNER attempted to build a high pressure locomotive? The chief engineer at the time, Nigel Gresley, was impressed with the results of high-pressure marine boilers, the kind found on ships, and wanted to apply that to a steam locomotive. A custom boiler was ordered from a company specialising in marine boilers and was fitted to a standard Pacific frame, albeit with an extra set of trailing wheels at the back to accommodate for the extra weight. The boiler was capable of producing roughly 450 psi, as opposed to the 200 psi a standard A1 boiler would produce. After it was built, it was tried on the LNER's non-stop London to Edinburgh service in 1930, managing to keep on time, but steaming relatively poorly when compared to a standard fire tube boiler. Another issue was air leaking into the casing of the engine, which affected performance, but nobody could ever find the cause of the issue. It was trialled on and off for a while, but most tests eventually showed there were few advantages to the marine boiler design, with the engine performing about as well as the other express engines in the LNER's fleet. In 1936, the engine was given a modified A4 boiler that would fit the longer frames and a set of new cylinders. The engine was put into service and was reported to have worked fine. The engine still retained the extra axle under the cab, which came with the benefit of a more spacious cab for the driver and fireman. The engine never carried a name, only ever bearing the number 10,000. It was, however, nicknamed the Hush Hush due to its secrecy when being developed, and then later earned the nickname of the Galloping Sausage due to the bulging round shape of the boiler. British Enterprise was considered when it was first built, and British Rail considered the name Pegasus for the rebuilt version, but neither of these names were ever used. It served as an express engine and had very little in the way of accidents. Eventually, it was withdrawn from service in 1959 and scrapped later that year. Like Fury built years before it, 10,000 proved that high-pressure steam was not the way forward in rail locomotion. However, unlike Fury, 10,000 was still able to do the work it was designed for, albeit with underwhelming results. Subscribe for more.